Okay, take a deep breath. The air situation is a little weird when the portal opened. Seriously. Whoa. So this is the Dark Realm? The whole place feels like it's in pain. Yeah, I got chills from opening the portal. Wait, are we ready for this? I mean, this man caused our friends and family so much pain. Not to mention the general population. I... I don't think I've ever been this angry. I know, but don't get distracted. It's time to bring Rixel to justice. We're not here for revenge. See anything yet? Ziggy's directions don't make a lot of sense. Go left at the creepy statue? Everything's creepy in here. Wait, I see it! And what, pray tell, is this? Rixel, for your crimes against Victusia, you're obligated to stand trial in the Kitchen Coliseum. By the power vested in us, by the Battle Chef Brigade. We declare you under arrest. Don't even think about trying to escape. You're cornered, old man. Cornered, you say? We'll see about that. Grah! He's getting away! Handle the Oku. I'll catch Rixel. Okay, so this is a boss, meaning my stunning daggers are useless here. Which means best order of business is more or less to uh, avoid that, sort of. I mean, the thing is, it doesn't hit me that often, so if I'm lucky... Uh-oh. That, that bug again. Oh, holy shit. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away from this for a moment. Do we need some HP back? Unfortunately, I am fairly vulnerable. Because I do not have a whole lot of, uh... Wait, you can stun it? Holy shit! You can stun the- you can stun the bird! You can stun the- oh, because it's- it's not actually a boss monster! It has a stun enemy! Ooh, I gotta start running more! Leave me be, you oaf! Come again? Let's take him to Instructor Razzle! Kieran, Ziggy, did it work? The mission was... Quiet on the floor! The trial of Alchemist Rixel is now in session. Prosecution, you may present your evidence. Instructor, this man hired bandits to steal my research and impeded our attempt to resolve the monster epidemic. It's true. He gave us a payment in his coin purse. It says Rixel on the inside. This thief must have stolen it from me as I stood here. That's not all. We discovered Rixel is to blame for the mutation in the first place. He poisoned the monsters on purpose. Lies! Silence! You'll be given time for your rebuttal. Mina, can you substantiate your claim? Rixel recorded how he infected the monsters in these notes. Take a look for yourself. He used samples from the Dark Realm. The old fool. To commit treason, then write it down. I ran tests on the infected monster cells and confirmed Rixel's research was the cause of the mutation. I've brought samples for you to examine. I see. The samples confirm your claim. Rixel, you are charged with theft, destruction of property, conspiracy, and treason. The punishment for these crimes is banishment from the Brigade, and a sanction upon your culinary power. How do you plead? Not guilty, Instructor. I am appalled by these blatant falsehoods. Are you really going to take the word of these hooligans? The research they mentioned was stolen from a brigade lab. Curious that you never reported it missing. How do you explain the documents presented? I instructor, please. I was only trying to end the true blight. I sought to cure monsters once and for all, but the committee only cared about his uninspired Ambrosia project. It doesn't have to be like this, Rixel. We can put the past behind us and move forward. If only you'd let go. 
I refuse to take advice from a hack like you. Prattling away about perfect flavors when there's real work to be done. I'm twice the alchemist you'll ever be. Rixel, since you've been unable to present compelling evidence to the contrary, I pronounce you guilty. You will never work as an alchemist again, and are forbidden from all culinary experimentation. No! Alchemy is my lifeblood. I demand a trial by cooking. <laughs> I demand a trial by seamstress. What? What? That's not... Well, I guess that's how this weird broken society works. A trial by cooking? Brigade law dictates that anyone accused of a crime may request it. The severity of Rixel's crimes only make him eligible for a reduced sentence. He won't get away. By order of the Battle Chef Brigade, we will honor your appeal and commence the trial by cooking. Prosecution, who do you name as your champion? It's all you, Blue Jay. But I... Mina, you're the most focused, talented chef I know. If anyone can defeat Rixel, it's you. To never practice alchemy again, though? I know he made bad decisions, but didn't he try to do something noble? I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't cook. I know what he said, and I know he means it. You still can't let him win. Trust me, Mina. He'll hurt more people than you can imagine. I trust you. All of you. Instructor, I'll face him. Very well. If Mina wins, Rixel will be convicted and forever banned from alchemy. If Rixel prevails, however, he'll be allowed to continue alchemy under the strict supervision of a brigade veteran, but may only cook with dull pots and pans. The rules are the same as ever. Provide each of our judges the best cuisine, but this time, the extent of Rixel's conviction is on the line. I've assembled our top judges, Maradane, Hasjil, and Akebo, to sit in judgment for this trial. The theme ingredient for this match represents the many threads that brought you here. Hydra! Ah, uh, shit. That's... actually... nope, that's... that's fine. Chefs, begin! Okay. So I don't have any base ingredients, but this is kind of my playground. Wait, why the hell am I fighting these things? What am I doing? I'm dumb. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll cut these out later. I can cut the poison out later. Okay, so next up... We gotta go get some of these. That's... Uh, because I can always cut it. I can always cut it out. Okay, so we've got... Lantern fruits. Luckily... I hate this arena, but it's also the one I'm probably best at. By like a significant margin. Okay, water is going to be the hardest. Let's hope we get some, um... You know what? Nope. Let's, let's hope we get... Oh. Hello. You're already up. No, he's not. He's bugged. That's not a... That's not a good sign. Now he's up. Okay. Yeah, I got really worried about that. We had a ghost hydra hanging out and it uh it was a problem. It still bit me, even though it's stunned it. Okay. Uh, let's go from there. I do miss uh I I do really miss uh Thrash's, uh... Thrash's, like, damage per second abilities. Dude was, uh, a tank man. Okay. So let's grab those. Okay, good. This just got a whole lot easier. 
Double jump makes it easier. We got plenty of time, too. Okay. So that's a good sign. Uh, so we want to do one bit of Hydra here. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We've got Hydra Fin, which we are going to... We are going to grab this, move this here. Enough yet, girl. Just leave that there. You'll never defeat a master alchemist like me. Try Rotate stop. this. That's confusing. Okay, we want to grab this. We gotta cut the poison out. Okay, we want to add hydro lungs. Uh, that's fine. Back to cook cooking that. That'll go for a while. Oh, wait. I screwed this up. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time on that one. Okay, well. Easiest section for last. Easiest, but possibly the most tedious. So here's the thing. Lantern fruits. Nope, not the most tedious. This actually got a hell of a lot easier. Okay, now I do have to remember to get some Hydra bits in here. So if you remember, uh, we upgrade every plant we get. So I just got a bunch of uh, max tier fire gems. Which means I am pretty much golden. Cool. Okay. I just have to make sure I don't cut out the, uh, the ones that I want. makes this a lot easier. Drop. Screw your match match mechanics. I got no biz uh I got no interest in it. Okay. So I think that's all lantern fruit. So we've gotta get a let's just put a hydra neck in here. So this is the earth one. So that'll just go. I'll cut more to the uh, to go in. And this is a problem. Because that's, that's cloning things improperly. Okay. Well, we're good. That's, that's the main takeaway here. Because all I have to do is just go gather some more lantern fruits. And just let stuff go. Okay, pantry, another lantern fruit. I like the match mechanics in this game, but they're very hard to work with. And so I kind of pride I myself. To stop me. I want to destroy the blight as much as you do. Are we really so different? Look at what you're willing to do to stop me. Stole from the brigade. <laughs> Lied to your superiors. Broke brigade law. You're wrong. We did those things. For the greater oh, you're right. We did them to save lives, now and in the future. We would never sacrifice the present for tomorrow. And we'll never stop fighting for the people who need us. Let's see. So we need to cut out this, this, and this. Pick this up. Drop that there. Okay, back to lantern fruit cheese. I honestly can't believe this is going to work. Okay, let's go get two more fire fruits. Uh, we might be a little bit. Doesn't the fire need hydro parts? It does.
It just ate one. Is there any Hydra in there? Uh, I think at this point, this is the only one that's missing a Hydra part. Which really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, okay, boohoo. It's going to be a, a little bit short of maximum. Yeah, I think they've all got Hydra in them now. Okay, so this is Earth. Actually, I'm just gonna move this over. We got some time. Let's just let that upgrade. Do I have... No, I do not have any more sauces. I was kinda hoping I would. Okay, the Fire One has Hydra. Yeah, I figured... This is the only... No, that's that's pure Hydra neck. So, really, the Crystallizer is the most worrying one. Well, I should have a bunch of Hydra Neck. Do I not? Nope. Don't. Okay. Oh. Is that? Yes, this is done. Okay, pure fire. Then we're gonna grab this. Drop it. Stir this. No! We got it! It'll finish. Yeah, I have time to max it. I we are going to finish the final. Uh, we're going to finish the final match with um, with either a full score, uh, full marks, or just shy of. It really depends on how fast this goes, and I think I think this is fast enough. Get rid of one of the water beats. No, the uh, the crystallizer is actually faster than the uh, crock pot. Well, no, I, I I guess technically the pot on the right would have gone a little bit faster, but this is fine. Bam. So unless I forgot something, perfect score. The judges will now decide Rixel's fate. Outstanding. Crispy skin verskit. Garnished with slime eggs and Cragmore shell medley. There, none of that is Hydra. It's a slow burn, but it makes the fire even more exciting. Also poison. Wow. Glazed lantern fruit skewers with Hydra neck. Love the fire's intensity in every bite. Breathtaking, you certainly have my vote. Hydra stew, garnished with lapizard back and gory cap medley. These herbal earthy flavors are exactly as I requested. Also poison. Flavors in harmony. Gory cap stir fry with a side of hydra lungs and hydra neck melange. Earth is the perfect stabilizer. You've captured it beautifully in this dish. All of the elements are present at their highest quality in your dish. This is seasoned to perfection. I could not have done better myself. Oh, right. I have to have three of every element in there. Lovely. To get my bonus. Whatever. Lantern fruit babao fan. Topped with lapis tail and hydrofin melange. Oh, that looks really good. The brightness of the water is really coming through. Scrumptious. There's a place at the academy if you should ever enroll. <laughs> Wait, really? They procedurally generate the compliments so hard that they just told a veteran member of the Battle Chef Brigade to enroll. <laughs> okay, I see a comment on the YouTube side. To quote, is Wander cheating? The answer is, no, I'm not cheating. I've just denied this game any challenge by uh, by cheesing it in the only way I possibly could find. Uh, I mean, technically there are other ways that I could have cheesed it, but this was the easiest and the best. And my favorite. So hydrate fin soup, garnished with ambrosia file and watery sauce melange. Pure water. 
beautifully hydrating. That water is a nice antidote for this summer day. High score. By the power vested in me by the Brigade Committee, I shall now declare a winner. Mina wins the match! Woohoo! Rixel, I strip you of all stations and titles. You are hereby banished from the Brigade and its satellite institutions. Oh no! You can't do this to me! I bet your so-called peacekeepers didn't even tell you the worst of their crimes. They repeatedly went into the Dark Realm. I suppose it's fortuitous they aren't the ones on trial then. You were given your last opportunity to prove yourself worthy in the Brigade's eyes. You failed. Take him away! You four are in enormous trouble. Breaking into our lab, trespassing in the Dark Realm, what were you thinking? W we had to act, Instructor. Rixel would still be loose if we hadn't done something. Mina Han, I'm surprised at you. Did you learn nothing from your expulsion? Hold on, the only gravedigger here should be me. I'm the one who broke into the lab and discovered Rixel's whereabouts. Not happening, man. We all did this together, Instructor. I'm sorry we broke the rules, but I stand by what we did. And you, Kirin? I... I found a cure for the mutation. One that will heal the monsters, protect our towns, save our people's lives. We couldn't have done that waiting around for brigade approval. Do what you must. You found it? Instructor, I beg you for clemency. It would be absolute folly to toss such talented youngsters aside. And your request shall be granted. Come in. I know they meant well, but they broke fundamental brigade laws. You once told me that leadership wasn't about perfection, but how we deal with our imperfections. Their decisions were flawed, but they've contributed more to Victusia than most of our veterans. All Rixel had to show for his secretive work was an epidemic and countless sick. How my words come back to haunt me. You're right, Common. You're all on janitorial duty for the next week. And then you will receive commendations for exquisite service. As for you, Siegfried, I'd like to apologize for the committee's distrust. You may not have finished the tournament, but I name you an honorary brigadier. <laughs> oh, you're killing me! Wait, you're serious? Thanks. For now, we have a cure to administer. We'll make the preparations. You three meet us back at headquarters. Well, guys, it's been corporeal, but I have to leave. Leaving? But we just brought a man alchemist to justice! You're not even gonna stay for a meal? I completed my task here. It's time for me to go. Where will you go? To hell if I don't change my ways. <laughs> Hamburger, you're the best. You believed in me when nobody did and made all this possible. What? I wasn't even here for part of the tournament. He's right, Blue. You got us all together. We wouldn't have caught Rixel if you'd stayed in Windy Village. Thank you. All of you mean so much to me. Well, that's all the time I have. He... he's really gone. Oh, and Thrash, when Lupa starts dating that fisherman's son, go easy on him. It's gonna be fine. Wait, what is that? Bye. Goodbye, Ziggy. There goes the strangest guy we'll ever meet. I wouldn't be so sure. Odd things tend to flock to us. For people wondering what Ziggy's doing, he's a time-traveling necromancer ghost lich thing. He is actually, I believe, from the future. And we'll be ready for them. And so, with the help of our bravest chefs, we administered the monster cure across Victusia.
Mina, Thrash, and Kieran received their commendations, and a feast was held in their honor. The three friends spent every possible moment together, until the time came for them to part ways. Kieran joined the research branch and stayed in Brigade Town as Belchior's assistant, though in time she would surpass even him. Thrash swore to protect and provide in our military branch and set out for home. His village has never been happier or better fed. Mina followed her dreams of travel into our ambassador branch. Now she treks across Victusia, teaching our ways to the populace and learning new crafts from them. As for Ziggy, no one has heard from him since the day of the trial, but brigadiers across Victusia tell stories of a skeletal figure and his ghostly companion passing through their camps at night, always smiling. That, I'm afraid, is where our story ends. But fret not, for Victusia is always in need of chefs with the strength of the tides, the flames of curiosity, and the endurance of the earth. We may yet meet again. Alright, that is the end of Battle Chef Brigade. Gonna quickly pause it. Okay, cool. So that took me pretty much 12 hours. If I hadn't restarted as many times as I had, it probably would have taken me 10-ish. Eh, 10 to 12 hours. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for that. I feel very satisfied. I don't know. I Whenever I go into the, these games... Wow, that is a really anime outro. outro. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so this was just a satisfying experience. I... <sighs> I hope they make another one, and I hope they go deeper into literally everything. Um, because, like, I loved the characters, but the plot kind of jumped around a little bit too much. And, like, I wish they had actually spent more time and let the characters hang out and, like, interact and stuff like that. Um, because they were written really well. This game was written really well. I just wanted more, but also, like... I wanted more, but I hope if whatever they make next probably doesn't go match three. The match three was fun, and I really enjoyed finding like a uh, a way to break it all and uh, and do something completely different. Because uh, that, like the whole crockpot uh, cutting board thing, was kind of magic, and I loved it. Um, but, like, I, I'd love for them to have, like, a deeper cooking system. Maybe even so, like, you can keep comboing food gems together for forever. And, like, having them next to each other in different ways has, like, different flavors. I don't know. They could go so much deeper than just basic match three. Uh, with, with points associated with it. That's for certain. And I really hope they actually let you explore in the next one if they do that. I don't know. Um, it's... It's one of those where it's rare uh, for me to finish an indie game and just be like, I really want to wake up tomorrow and have the sequel ready and waiting for me. And this one, more or less, is that. I'm glad this is the end of your Crock-Pot edition. No, you misunderstand. After I'm done with this, I'm going to go toss a whole thing of pork into my Crock-Pot and wake up to it tomorrow. You guys have no idea how deep that Crock-Pot addiction goes. But yeah, the game world idea is so good. Uh, I love the world, I love the design, I love the mechanics, I love the society, I love the characters, and I just... Oh no. Oh wow. Well. I mean, it's about the same thing, actually. It's still tasting no matter what I do. But yeah, I don't know, this was fantastic, and I really enjoy this game. See, can I? Oh, good. I can just speed past this. Luckily, it's an indie game. Oh boy. 
I actually wish I had kickstarted this game. Let's see, what do I think of this game in a PvP mode in it? Uh, it kinda does, kinda doesn't. Uh, so let's just skip past this. Read all the names. No! What I should remember to do is for the games that I kickstart, I should probably actually, uh, you know, find myself in the credits. Let's see. But yeah, so there isn't exactly, um, PvP. There's speed cooking and platforming and hunting skills. There's also the daily cook-off. Um, oh! So Thrash is 28. Uh, so you can actually see how, how old they are. It feels like it's missing. Like, it feels like this game kind of hit a budgetary constraint and they wanted to do more. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully they add more. But yeah, time and score trials aren't really PvP. Uh, the daily ch cook-off kind of is. Like, the thing is, PvP wouldn't be you fighting against another person. You'd just be fighting for other points, at which point, just do it anyway. Like, just do, do the daily mode, and there you go. Yeah, were so they supposed to be extra characters? They might show up later. I have no idea. I, I really don't know. Uh, on one hand, I wouldn't mind them to add, like, them adding more to this game. On the other hand, I'd actually really just like a, a sequel with a bigger budget. And that'd be it. Just that. There we go. Well, I had a lot of fun playing this game. It was awesome. And I'm glad to have it out of the way so that I can feed my crockpot addiction in one life and not both. So, uh, I guess with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.